My name is Marcus Kinley, and I'm running for the presidency of the North Carolina Federation of Republican Men. First, I want to thank all those people that have endorsed me here of late. Uh, Ed Boyhill, the National Committee Man to the RNC, the Vice Chair of the North Carolina Republican Party, two former Vice Chairs of the North Carolina Republican Party, along with John Hardister, the Majority Whip of the, of the North Carolina House, and Jason Sane, who is the Deputy House Conference Chair. I'd like to thank them, along with Mark Creech with the Christian Action League, and several other senators, delegates, and county chairmen. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. One of the things I wanted to speak to you about today was one of the goals that we must reach is communication. On July 4th, while attending a 6th district picnic, I had a gentleman who worked with the party 15 years ago approach me and he said that he had been wanting to become involved again, once again, with the Republican Party and he looked around on social media and the only thing that he was able to find was the event that he was at. Now, I was astounding by that because I see for events all the time, but I got to thinking about it and many of times we live in our own little bubble and where we're just communicating with our friends and our friends and communicating back and forth and we're going around in a circle and the news never gets out of there. One of the things that we need to do is to use the media, social media, of course, but also radio, television, and the newspapers to get our message out. Now, I know many times that we don't like the media, we don't like the way they report things, but there is a way to get our message out. I was speaking with a reporter with a local television station the other day, and we, in our conversation, he told me that I needed to go and have a class and help politicians learn to talk to the media because he understood, as he said, that for the last 25 years, when he's been interviewing me for his television stations that he's worked at, he said I was, quote, a good interview. He said that I was able to get my message across and he was able to report it in a fair manner. Now, we are not on the same political spectrum, but he's always been fair with me. One of the reasons he has is I don't give him any more information that he can repeat that it goes off message. And that's one of the things that I want to be able to help people who are running for office, who want to run for office, but also our clubs and our membership and our, our just the message of the Republican Party and what we stand for to help the clubs get that information out, which is something that we really need to do. We are really lacking in our communication skills and getting the message out and keeping everybody informed as to what's going on. That's just one of the reasons that I want to be the president of the North Carolina Federation of Republican Men. One of the main reasons that we are there is to support candidates. We need to help them raise money. We need to help them get their message out. And we need to work and volunteer for the local county parties. So I'm asking for your vote and I'm asking for your support on July the 24th at our convention in winston Salem. And I want to thank those that have already stood up and endorsed me Thank you very much for your trust in me. I've worked with you in the past. You know what I can do, and I appreciate you standing beside me. Have a good day.